Hello friends, this is Shoaib. Welcome to my third tutorial in which I am gonna tell you about breadboard. That what is breadboard and how it is used in electronics. So the breadboard is nothing but a construction prototype base for any temporary electronic circuit. Means if we want to make any circuit on the temporary basis, then we construct that circuit over there. And the sec second question, how it is used? So, as we see there, breadboard are divided into three section, upper one, middle one and lower one. So let us talk first about upper section. So as we see there are 10 blocks, if we count then it is 10 in number. These blocks are connected together up to 5 in pair in horizontal manner. Means these are connected horizontally from inside. And after the 5 block means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 the supply is break. Same is there. After the 5 block supply is break. So these blocks are connected together horizontally. Means like that horizontally. So the first thing which, which we do if we want to use these all 10 blocks together then we must connected these two pair of five blocking with the help of wire like I will tell you now these two pair five from LHS and five from RHS are connected together now these all ten blocks are connected together in note horizontal manner so these upper upper and lower both sections are connected from inside in a horizontal manner for example if we want to connect any component over there then how it will connect then it will connect like that see one leg in one horizontal pair and second leg is also horizontal pair why we connect like that because they are connected horizontally from inside what happen if we connect LED like that like that then LED will be short circuited and it will become damaged because the supply is horizontal usually in breadboard these upper and lower section are used for supply purpose like I connected upper one with my 9 volt battery in order to make this upper section as a DC supply now this become this line become negative and this line become positive Let's move toward the middle section. It also have dotted lines. But note these lines are connected vertically. Means vertically from inside. Not horizontally. Horizontally is upper and lower one. And middle one are connected with each other in vertical manner. Like that, like that, like that. Vertically. So what happen if we want to connect any component over this middle line? How it will connect? Uh, I will tell you. Now it will connect like that, one leg over there and one leg in that row because they are connected vertical, vertically from inside. What happen if we connected these LED terminal like that? So if we connect our LED like that then LED will definitely short circuited and become damaged. Why? Because these lines are connected with each other vertically not horizontally these are connected vertically that's why LED becomes short circuited because in both the legs same supply are going so it becomes short circuited so note never connect any electronics component like that in middle row always like that because it is vertical supply and one more thing this middle section doesn't have any break it is continuous from one end to last end so it doesn't matter where you put your component from this point to that point one more thing uh, what is the use of this division in middle section I will tell you these division are basically used to place integrated circuit means IC if we want to put any IC in breadboard then it is better to put between this division I will tell you how see it is LM555 means triple 5 timer IC of 8 leg so how it is connected in breadboard 
over this division like that. Four leg at one side of division and four leg at other side of division. And because it is vertical in nature, means I am talking about middle section, so the IC work well. It doesn't short circuit it. So this is how we connect any IC in breadboard. The last thing which I want to tell you that how we connected this upper and lower row of supply with middle one to any component. How we give supply to any component. As we know these all 10 block have same supply. So I connected negative with negative leg and positive with positive leg. Like this line have negative supply and this line have positive supply through this battery. My LED is not glow because the battery is damaged that's why it's not glow. But don't be confused, it's just an example to tell you how supply is given in a breadboard. So I want to remind one, once again, like breadboard of three sections, upper one, middle one and lower one. Upper one have horizontal supply, last one have horizontal supply, only middle one have vertical supply. So thanks for watching my tutorial, I hope this video proof helpful for you guys if you want my more update please subscribe my channel i will be back very soon with more interesting tutorial regarding electronic circuits and embedded system thanks for watching my video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel